Uh, hi, it's Oink. Uh, a while back, I uh, said I would uh, post a video about how to add a native coin in your desktop. Um, back then, I left you at this screen where we just made a profile and did not add any coins. Um, we are going to add a coin and I'm going to do it in native mode. First, what we do if we uh, let me get back, I need to explain what I'm doing. Keep to, uh, I need to remember that one. Um, it says I have no coin added. I can use this link. Uh, this link is only there uh, if you have no coins at all in your wallet. Uh, this button is always available. So I'm going to use that one. Add coin. Uh, choose the coin to add. I'm going to choose Virus. I'll uh, very quickly show you later on uh, how to add another coin. Okay, I've chosen Virus and I got options. I got light mode and I got native mode. I'm going to choose native mode. I can opt for start staking, start mining. If I choose start mining, I can put in a number of threads that I want to use. Not going to do that right now. These two options, re-index blockchain and rescan wallet, uh, basically they are if you're in trouble. Um, in Discord, uh, someone that uh, responds to your question for help on any problem with the wallet, uh, if you're going to use it, he, the, the person in question, will direct you to either re-index blockchain or rescan wallet or any other option that is available for troubleshooting. But you don't need to uh, select these two options they are basically to correct problems and we just started a wallet and we don't have any any uh, anything to correct yet i'm going to click add coin now what you see is a screen that it says it's going to download something downloading the required tools to sync to the blockchain the so-called zcash parameters uh, this is a fairly large download and it only needs to be downloaded if you have never run a Zcash or Komodo ecosystem coin or Virus ecosystem coin in native mode in your wallet. Uh, it's a one-time occurrence. Of course, if you uh, going to work on a new machine, that needs those uh, parameters as well. Uh, this will take its time. It's a one, one and a half gigabyte download. But as I said, it's a one time occurrence. Okay, once that's downloaded, uh, it will show you this screen portfolio over, overview with a gray circle. We'll come to that later. Uh, and Virus and in uh, a square native. It says dash USDR hyphen USD on zero Virus coin. Yeah, it changes to zero and zero. And what you'll see, it is syncing with the blockchain. Uh, I just posted a video online on this channel, uh, how to bootstrap your blockchain. That is actually pretty simple. I'm going to leave this running right now. Um, it's useless to, uh, to show it to you twice. But right now you have a wallet in native mode. It's just at the very beginning of the chain right now. Now we say, I want to add another one. I also have Komodo. I want to add Komodo. This is basically exactly the same uh, action you do then. Uh, add coin, choose coin. Make sure native is selected. And as you can see, the option staking is not here because Komodo doesn't have staking. Uh, we can pick add coin, loading data, done. I've never run Komodo on the system before, so you get this interface. It is basically your firewall uh, asking permission. It will also show that on uh, Virus, but I already run uh, the Virus on this system, so it didn't show. And now you see you get two chains. And you can go on as many, uh, as, many as your uh, system can bear to run. Uh, pirate chain, you can add that. Add coin, pirate chain, done, great. Add coin, uh, I don't know, what else do we have? We have Zcash. Up, oh, Zcash, we're going to put that in. 
Uh, Zcash is another one I haven't run on this one. And that needs access to the network as well. So I'm gonna allow that access as well. This is for Windows, the allowing access. Uh, and Mac OS and Ubuntu, Linux, don't do that. They simply let it go, let it through, unless you have uh, a firewall installed that blocks it. But that's basically standard, not the issue. And on Windows, it is standard showing this interface. That is why I'm doing it on Windows. So as you can see right now, I have now four blockchains running and uh, they all start to sync which is eating away if you leave them like this it'll take days before uh, they become synced so i urge you check out this channel check out uh, the bootstrapping procedure it's also in the wiki uh, that video refers to it so i'll hope to see you next time thank you for your attention and i hope to see you on uh, various discord soon. Bye-bye.